everyone, welcome back. Today I want us to have a look at this stainless steel mesh burner. I saw someone using one a couple of months ago. Um, I didn't get to talk to them, but it just looks so good. We we're out on a camp. It's not really a way to cook your food. It's more sort of a nice thing to have at camp. So I thought we'd open it up, put it together, and then a little bit later when it gets darker, maybe we'll try and toast some crumpets on it or something like that. Okay, so there seems to be a few companies making this. Um, a bit like the cooking stoves where you, everyone, lots of people have the same stove, but they've all got them from different companies. And it seems to cost between £15 and £25. But I'll put a link in the bottom as to when I got mine. So let's open up and have a look. Okay, so get all these out. Got lots of legs here. Another one. What else? There's these little metal clips. So we've got four, yeah, four of these metal clips. Four of these metal clips. And then inside is the steel mesh. Now the company say that the, the mesh is so close together here that the ash doesn't fall through. Well, I haven't tested it out yet, but um, hopefully we can have a look at that later tonight. So let's try and put it together. Okay, look at me doing this without instructions. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. Okay, so that's obviously where the legs get angled. Um, oh yeah, okay, so we've got four that have got the rubber on the end. That's obviously where the stand is. Oops, I'm just losing one of my metal clips. I wonder if it matters which way round this goes. Doesn't look like it. Let's just give it a go. So I'm going to push those in. It's a bit like putting a tent up, <laughs> all, these, all these clanking poles. Okay. Okay. There we are, that's that. So then the, these four obviously go up here. So far so good. Another one. Okay, so then somehow I get the mesh on the top. So let's have a go at that. So it has got a seamed side, so I'm gonna put that down. I'm going to do this one first. You probably won't be able to see this, but when I come around the side. Um, so it looks like you squeeze this clip together because there's a ring here, a loop there. I'm going to put that through like that. And then in the end of there, because there's hollow tubes here. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, let's do this one. You get the metal, squeeze together, pop it through the hole, and then it goes in the end here, like that. So far, so good. So the next one. How's that looking? I guess you have to fiddle around with it a little bit. Okay, so I've got all the corners in. Yeah. And yeah, that's quite sturdy now. So I've got some kindling ready to go on here later. And uh, let's just wait for it to get dark.
it's lovely and warm. Trying to find a good stick to toast my crump. In. I think this one will be good because it's kind of hooked at the end. Do. Still a bit high. Oh, this is really pushing out some heat now. I think, if I remember rightly, the whole kit weighs about 800 grams, but I'll, I'll put the specs down in the description so you can see properly. And apparently this mesh top will take five kilograms of weight, so... Oh yeah, that's doing... It's lovely and warm, really lovely and warm. So I'm interested to see if any of the ash escapes later through the mesh. Oh, crumpets. My dad used to do this on our coal fire when I was a child. And chestnuts. I know I should really let it die down a bit more before I do this, but I'm so, I'm so keen to do this. <laughs> If I just wait, <laughs> that's what everyone says about my cooking, if I just wait a little bit longer and let things cook to their perfection, it'd be much better. But I'm too keen to get on with it. This bit's good actually, this has gone really hot and flames have died down. That's, that's really nice, ooh that is toasty, look, I've got a nice burnt bit at the bottom. Let's turn it over with my fantastic toasting fork. Right. Yeah, it's really hot there. I suppose I could. Actually, you could make something with this loop. <laughs> so you could just leave it there. Well, I'm really liking this so far. Um, first go, very easy to set up. Really warm. And I imagine if I took this on an overnighter with me, it'd be lovely. Let's do a makeshift setup, shall we? Let's. I wonder if I can do this. This is where it falls in. There we go. Lovely.
Yum. Lovely and hot and smoky and woody. <laughs> So once the fire had died right down later that evening, I just took a couple of pictures of the ash which seemed very well contained on top of the mesh, no problem there. And underneath the unit uh, on the grass, I couldn't see any evidence of ash there at all. I took it from a few different angles so we could sort of get a good picture of it, but it was obviously dark. So um, I thought I'd wait until the next morning and then I had another look and this was the ash well contained on top of the mesh and underneath you can see here. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video.